We have no background for whatever reason, but hey! I should do the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all gender identities, welcome to IDD QDERP. It's Thursday, which is unusual, but uh, here we are. Well, here I am. Um, Adam will be joining me a little later. Um, but I'm here for now. So, what are you gonna do? Everybody else is in PAX. Paxin. Um, so, <laughs> how did you enjoy having three different colors of, uh, um, of mystery box to pick from? I love how I don't ever have to resort to, uh, any sort of, like, democratic function. I can just stack it by using the mystery box. It's awful. Adam will be here. There will be Adam. He's just busy getting swole right now. Like, he's doing, doing this thing. Um, but he will probably be invading at some point. So in the meantime, I'll play some games, maybe do some stuff. We'll probably just, like, do some sort of horrendous potpourri kind of thing. But because you picked the green mystery box, we have a green game for you. It's called Varied Station. Um, I'm not 100% sure what to expect out of this. I don't even know if it's going to be a good stream game. But we'll give it a shot, and we have some other stuff. Uh, no, we're not going to play Mutgo, because I don't know how to play Mutgo. <laughs> oh, this is, seriously, I've never I've never played Mutgo. I'm only too happy to, like, backseat and uh, give terrible draft pick ideas. But... <laughs> I don't actually know how to play Magic the Gathering Online. I know how to play regular Magic, Paper Magic. But yeah, it would be really, really... It's like you, you see people frustrated at misplays when they know how to play that game. Yeah, you'll have a real bad time. Alright, let's fuck it up. Start a new game. Delete previous saves. Are you sure you want to start it? I, I do. Let's do it. Wasta! Left mouse interact. Zoom. Da 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 da. Yeah, this is fine. Seems pretty standard. That was a noise. I am in. Wait, is it the phone? Oh, there's somebody calling. Please wake up. Activating protocol training. Proceed to terminal. Is that the terminal? I'm gonna turn my mouse sensitivity down because it's really high. One, two, uh, let's try three. That's better. Also, uh, is there any V-Sync issues? Hi, Robert Moon! This game does look kind of gray to start with, but let's find out. There's a whole bunch of resubs. Eric, Dogma, thank you for your resubs. We're gonna try and figure out what we're doing in space, because we're in space and there's hexagons. We have this is actually a nice place. I mean, we live we live here now. This is pretty swank, you know, considering our normal crop of things. Adams. Okay, this is obviously a puzzle. I need to... I fucked up. We're dead. We died. We're dead. Is this the terminal? Oh, did I miss Can't Wear Hats, uh... Resub? What is it? We... It spins! It spins! This beautiful space. Two skies. Uh huh. Molecular gastronomy. Ooh. Cooking with chemicals. Oh. I'll get to you in a second. Jesus. I'm reading these books. Water, nice to meet you. All right. What do you want? Enter to begin. Uh. Oh. There we go. Please answer the following questions to set up your station profile. To create the best user experience for you, please answer honestly. Keep in mind there are no wrong answers. Oh. Well. 
Uh, being alone, being confused, failing. Three, most assuredly. Picture a horse in your mind. What color is it? Brown, I think. No, yeah, it's definitely brown because of the the what shape do I prefer? Circle, square, or triangle? It is hip to be square. How would you describe the color of the ocean? Deep blue. The ho <laughs> Whoa, we're like we we're revisiting these questions here. It's like, okay, so our brown horse was <laughs> standing still. If this starts asking me about like tortoises and like pornographic pictures, I'm about to get shot. Is is this a, a is this a void Kampf test? Am I a replicant? You're in a hallway with two doors, one on the left and one on the end of the hall. Both doors are open. You see a candle. <laughs> Do I pick it up? Well, if it, given that it's a video game, sure. If following a cataclysmic event, you found yourself completely alone, first would you Seek out other potential survivors, search for supplies and gear. Bask in the silence? Well, like, I, I'll do the... What's the very first thing? I want to bask in silence, but that's stupid. There will be time for that later. Let's get supplies. When it rains, you think of... <clears throat> cleanliness. Sure. Which part of a mountain would you like to be? Hmm. Did you hear that? Hope this isn't a horror game. Um, let's see. Which part of the mountain? Peak's kind of frigid. I'll be a midpoint. A massive storm is quickly approaching. I would go to my storm cellar, run to my car, raise both arms to the heaven, daring the gods of men to smite you, knowing the only possible outcome. Uh, I think I'm going to hit the storm cellar. After taking this test, you feel... Uh... That's a tough one. How about we say the same? Because I'm somewhat apprehensive, but also kind of hopeful. Please stand by. My profile is now... Yay! I won it! Somehow. Your station profile has now been saved. Please retake this test every 30 days so that any changes in your mental state can be assessed. All right. We made a voyage of Verd Station. Your work over the next year is extremely important. Data that you will log will be used to ensure the consistent quality of future station production by developing and enforcing good manufacturing and practice, GMP, systems we can validate processes and improvements for future use. Well, that's super. Shit. Is it testing me all? Wait, what? Oh, all of these are my duties. Monitor and maintain all trees and plants. Log all issues that occur. Run system check each terminal every 30 days. Retake profile test every 30 days. Enjoy my downtime. I'm going to get to five first. I shouldn't forget my TPS reports. All right, let's go to the greenhouse. Computer. Computer, which one's the green? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, let's take this book with us. Okay, so that's... Oh, ah, here we go. Uh, right where it belongs. Toilet. I do what I want. What the... F <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Well, we all know how those work, so we'll just leave them. We'll leave them be. <laughs> Fuck. Anybody who doesn't know that reference, sorry. <laughs> We're off to a good start here. Oh, what's in here? Oh, man, we can guzzle this bleach? Hang on. Oh, biodegradable enzyme solution. Let's instead 
Yeah. I mean, we want to have a clean environment, right? Son of a bitch. Wait. No, I've, I've got this. I've got it. Hit. One time. Here's the setup and the up. I'm going to do this. I can't jump. I am a really tall person of indeterminate gender. Well, we'll just... No, you know what? We'll just get the... We'll get this really extra clean. Perfect. Fucking flawless. Alright, now that we have a clean toilet, we can start. I like how the fire extinguishers are, is in the bathroom. We'll just sort this carefully. Put that exactly where it belongs. Flawless. Oh. You can see the water running. Well, all right. Can't dawdle here all day. I have... Wait, this is the lid? Keep my spot. The right shit in here. Ooh, both these lockers are mine. Pillows! That we cannot pick up. That is a shame. Well, I mean, it's not time for sleeping. So, that's probably fine. Alright. Um, take a load off. This is my only friend. Whoops. You fell. There we go. God damn it, I'm trying to put his head on. I'm all alone in space. I need something that resembles a companion. I killed him. Killed my only friend and I haven't even started the day. Well, you know what? How about I'll just I'll just take your head with me. And uh Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Greenhouse. Here we are! You wait here. What should we name our bouncy ball friend? Hmm, he's looking kinda of brown. That one's fine. That one's fine, maybe? I assume that we open or close these based on what shape they're in. I'll leave that open. Leave that open. Get some water into this one. This guy looks like he's doing okay. Eh, let's close it up. Leave it. May as well. Let's give you some water. Wait. Wait, is it stuck? That's weird. HP Great Brain Case with the resub. Welcome back. Leave that. How's this one looking? Hmm. I am completely guessing what I'm meant to be doing here. There's no automation in space. Of course not. I wouldn't have a job otherwise. Yeah, dip, dip, burp, burp, burp. I think you're doing okay. This one, sure. Genro, Gen, Genkyoru. I am so sorry. Uh, if you had a resub and I missed it, I am sorry. I will thank you nonetheless. Thank you. Yeah, watering is on my list of things to do. I'm supposed to take care of all these plants. No, we want to open this one. Bye, Ray. Now I'm all alone. Oh, there's a terminal here. Oh, look at these little things. Look at little buggers. What's this? I have oh, I have messages. Uh, system check. Let's do it. Running system. 
Let's make sure the power system's okay. Hmm. Is that good? All systems within specification, one error found. Please run a system check in 30 days. Oh, multiple water valves in the closed position. Oops. Well, I guess I should probably just open everything up. Part of me is sort of hoping that this is actually just like exactly what it seems like. And is just like some sort of like procedure simulator. Open. Why the fuck is it stuck? Hmm. Come on, little valve. Please open. That's bad. I wish to do my job. Hmm. Can I open any of these ones? Okay, that one's open. Open. There we go. Okay, so one of them's jammed, that we know of. Close. Close, okay. Oh yeah, click and hold. Okay, there's two that are, that are jammed. That seems real bad to start with two jammed valves. There we go. Okay, leave that one. Yeah, that one's stuck too. We're gonna have to come around with a pipe wrench, fix this shit right up. Close. Open. Hmm. Wow. We're in worse shape than I thought. Okay, that one we can at least get. That one's good. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a wrench. Fuck, that's like three, four? Okay, that one's good. That one's good. That one also jammed. Yeah, I hope we have a pipe wrench fight. Close. Last two. Close. Okay. Um. Yeah, run it again. If this is a space it's the fifth base day from some sort. It's interesting. Well, I kind of want to see what happens. This game definitely has my attention now. I'm intrigued. I mean, like, I'm one of those few people that actually like these tourism simulator games. Where, like, nothing happens. I don't know, sometimes I just like a game where there's no... Uh, okay, multiple, yeah, closed position. <sighs> what are we do? What are we gonna do? What the... What, what are we gonna do? Let's go back. Is anything wrong with the greenhouse? Two. Water related. Uh, lower no pressure. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know which ones of these are deceased. I assume they still have leaves on them, so I'm not going to report that they're deceased yet. Uh, one unread messages. Welcome to the Verid Station Greenhouse. You will find that your duties are not very demanding, but are very important. Simply monitor all plant life and equipment and report any issues that occur. Your feedback will help improve the station for future users. It will also help produce the largest number of usable trees and plants for use off-site. All right. Good thing Alex has 300 people with him then. Uh, okay. We read our email. Admin terminal. Oh. Advanced commands you've noticed and do not use the system. Let's not fuck with that for now. Mm. Okay. So. 
let's see if we can find a wrench or something to fix those valves with because like otherwise we're gonna have some dead plants with us but first we need to get our friend and we need to name him Bucky your name is Bucky it's so obvious all right Bucky come with me keep your eyes peeled what's this Easy there. Uh, I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Wait. It's a weird conspicuous little thing they got there. Okay, we got a fire extinguisher. That's Mr. Ball to you. Ooh, the lounge! Uh. Uh oh. I think I've been here a long time. Lessons learned. Txt. Keep moving. Other firsts. Hmm. Is that? Huh. Oh. Hello. David Richardson B. Wonder if this will be useful somewhere. Is there a computer terminal I can stick this into? Also, we may as well get this over with. This must have taken so long to set up. What's this one? Colin Hardash. Uh oh. Huh. We'll get to that in just a second. Excuse me. Post its. I'll need those for later. That's intriguing. Is that vomit? Or just plant material? Oh dear. Oh boy. Something's a little weird. I think that I've been really bored. Very... Very... Profoundly bored. Hmm. What's this? Doink. Oh, it's just a plate. Alright, Bucky, you've got a friend now. Oops. Oh, now I've done it. I get the distinct sensation that I did this. Okay, let's read our messages first. Thank you for submitting a request of... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good horror game. <laughs> Thank you for submitting a request of... Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Quantity 1. 
recorded audio transmission. A recording, uh, an audio transmission was recorded while the system was being rebooted. This file is corrupt, and an attempted transcription is below. Static. Garf system in. Oh, system in. I should probably write that down. If for problems, reboot station transmission lost. I don't have a piece of paper, but somebody please write that down. This might be at least parts of it, the horror game that I've been waiting for. It's a sort of an existential horror game. I always wanted to play like a horror game that was like, didn't have monsters or darkness or anything like that. It was just like this long, slow descent into madness. All the how like my life. Existence. I, I mean, I could be a robot. I don't know. I haven't looked in a mirror yet. I feel like there's going to be some sort of awful, awful thing waiting for me. Almost. 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 All right. I just want to read this a little bit more. Slide map 5.txt. Okay, let's have a look upstairs. Oh, space. What do you know? Or simulated. Space. Uh. That's worrying. It must be some sort of dwarf star. Maybe a dead pixel. Hello, kitty. Hi, smart man with the resub. Welcome back. Maybe I'll just sit down, relax for a little bit. I'm sure everything's going to be just fine. Just. Just fine. I really hope that that was intentional because it's really causing me quite a lot of distress. Maybe let's make a sandwich. That'll take our mind off of it. Hello, kitchen. Alright, nothing in the garbage. Uh, what the fuck? What was that? You heard that right. Globally, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. That is too much text. We'll maybe check that in a second. Okay, so we have this. Let's see what's up. <sighs> Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the Varied Station Kitchen. Standard meals will be supplied for future missions, but this beta voyage is limited to pre-prepared liquid form, uh, liquid food substitute. You've been provided enough bottles for your entire year aboard the station. One bottle contains enough nutrients for a single day. You may ingest the contents at will, but please monitor your intake. T.G. Waltney, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our descent into madness. You may ingest, uh, please monitor your intake. A few supplemental bottles have been stored in lower refrigerated cabinets. Feel free to use the meal warmer to heat each bottle. Delicious. I guess we should... Ooh, is this for me? Imported food product. A simpler food source. Food alternative color added. Serving size one third of a bottle. Created by Robert Reinhardt. Well, get in there. I now see here. I'm hungry. That's there. We go. Jaeger food. Let's 
just microwave our meal. I don't know how long this is going to run for. Well, while that's working, let's see what else is up. Uh, administrator terminal. I wonder. Hey, John Egbert. Last thing before you start your mission. Don't go outside the main modules unless you absolutely have to. The exterior... Sorry, what? The interior screens weren't tested at all. I recommend they put them further from the exterior walls, but they didn't listen. The original design was for underground stations. I'm not sure whose bright idea it was to turn it into a space station. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have a small problem. We'll just drink it away. That'll be fine. Everything's going to be quite all right. Oh, Jesus, we have plenty of... Don't put Silent in there. What is that hissing noise? We'll just put this up here. I said up here. I don't believe that I stuttered. That's better. Okay. Whoa, what the... F Ah. Uh. We're in space. We are definitely in space. We are spacemen. We are in space. That is most assuredly where we are, and I will not doubt this. Doubting will bring pain. Am I hallucinating, or did these grow while I was away? I did not put these books here. These books were not here when I was here last. When was I here last? Was it five minutes ago, or was it five days ago? Just a friendly reminder to please be careful when reporting issues through this and other terminals. All data collected from your beta will be used to determine future production. In particular, the catastrophic failure report should only be selected during a true emergency situation. I didn't report that. Did I? Let's check on the greenhouse. Yeah, we should probably check this as dot command here. One error. Still closed. Well, I don't know what I can do about that. Just checking in. It's been a bit since my last note. We've been getting the error reports that you've been sending. I can't believe how that many valves are stuck in the greenhouse when you arrived. That's unacceptable. I also received a note from the mainframe that the interior screens have been acting up. Have you seen anything weird? If so, that's not good. Find a way to get into the control room and log it. Maybe then management will start taking warnings seriously. I doubt it. Uh, it's fine. Really? It's quite, quite okay. Let's see if there's anything wrong with the greenhouse. Are any of these plants dead? How can I tell? Is there anything up here? Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? I don't remember putting these here. What do you mean I can't go to the lounge? I would like to go to the lounge. I went there before. Oh! How curious. I, I can't imagine why those venues would be blocked off to me. Maybe I'm tired. I must be tired. I should go to sleep. This might be on its way to being my favorite new horror game. I am quite, quite rattled. What's up? Wait. What do you mean, wake up? I wasn't sleeping. Was I? I'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> this is so fucking great. <laughs> the toilet's still clean, right? We may not have control over our life, but by God, we're gonna have a clean toilet. Put these in here? Did anybody else put these in here? I want to sleep. But the alarm clock says that I just woke up. I should trust the alarm clock. The alarm clock is never wrong. Comfortable? Good. Please continue to enjoy your time on Verd Station. However, don't forget to keep reporting any issues that may occur. Your feedback is vital to improve operational and technical systems in the future. And if a change in your mental state occurs, be sure to log it at the terminal. Mm. Mental check required. What do I fear the most? Oh, we gotta do this one again. Uh, at this point, I'm a little concerned. Sure, the horse is black. The fuck is that noise? What is making that noise? This is starting to actually trigger my stress and my stress response. Uh Square, sure. Deep blue. Standing still. Sure. Cleanliness. I kind of feel worse. Yay! Whoops. Uh... Quarter system check. Let's find out. Wait, the... Where... But but where is the smiley face? Where did it go? Where is the smiley face? Who put it there? Is there anything wrong? Mental state change. Confused. That's... Wait. Why is it red now? Why is... 
everything red. Red is an aggressive color. Red is a color that makes me uneasy. Why can I not go into the... <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> You're right, post-it note. You're very, very right. You know what is the best part about this? This game doesn't isn't gonna need any sort of jump scare or anything. It already has me completely on edge, and it is it's never gonna have to resort to jump scares. I'm quite stressed out right now. This is. This is ham. Uh... Maybe a little white lie won't be so bad. Sure, I, I feel better. Much better. Wait. I really hope you've been looking around enough to find this command. I'm Jeff, your system administrator. I designed the VS400. I added this feature right before your beta voyage began a month ago. The file space is very limited and you can't send me messages, but management doesn't know I can do this, so they shouldn't see them. Check all the terminals, I'll be in touch. Only 11 more cycles to go. What does that mean, precious? Let's run the system check again, why not? Sure, let's just go ahead and... Motherfucker. Did I just miss these the first time? Oh, 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 fuck. Fuck. Shit. Shit, fuck. Fuck, shit. Fuck. Oh, God. Um... And type. Okay, no, that's the same message from before. I feel like we might still be locked out of the kitchen, etc. No dice. Anything wrong with the greenhouse? Sure. Trees are fucked up. I don't even know if they are. One of these has got to be dead.
I don't know if I can go to the library. Let's find out. We are in space. We're in a spaceship. Every we're going to be okay. This is going to be perfectly fine. We just need to stay calm and everything will be fine. Hmm. Last. Is there anything wrong with my quarters? Plumbing issue, sure. What changed color again? Oh, door issue? That's a good idea. Let's report that as well. Perfect. This is exactly as I left it. See, I want to go to the lounge. Aha! is everything looks like it's in order now this is it this is the horror game I've been waiting for Fuck me. I have never been so terrified by perfect order in a video game before. This is all wrong. This is real bad. Oh, I love it. Fuck you, red pixel. These are the old books. Smash the state. Yeah, let's have a look at the system and see what we can figure out. <sighs> Two unread messages. Oops, that's the wrong. Sure, there was an audio issue. Three. Welcome to the lounge. You should plan to have a great deal downtime during your stay. You may use this area for relaxation and entertainment. Also be using your main communication hub. All priority messages will be directed to this terminal. Two, content error. I wasn't able to preload this terminal video content for your beta, uh, beta test. If any ships are going near Glies, uh, blah, blah, drop a few video reels. You should have plenty of books. Have a good year. I am not having a good year. I am luckily in space. Wait, where's the drive? Is this where I insert disks? I wonder if I can get the one from my quarters. Let's try it. And then we'll check sysadmin. Well, 
we'll just get to the bottom of this. Sure, there's no harm. The cube in my, um, in my room, it looked like it had letters on it. Aha, there we go. I don't know how to end this. I've spent what amounts to centuries searching out for Arachnos Elbert, and in the end, he came to me. Because of course he did. This is my last log in the, on the Dreamer, by the way. I'm drunk, I'm crying, I don't know why. It's over. It's all over. That should be a relief, right? I'm in the captain's suite writing this right now. He offered me his personal congratulations, and one thing led to another. It's funny how small his quarters really are, but it makes me real realize all this humility all his good-naturedness. It wasn't an act. This guy's genuinely a good man, a good leader. I want to know him better, but I'm afraid it's too late. We made it to New Yondela. It's gorgeous down below. You can see continent after continent here, all just waiting to be explored and discovered and loved. There will only be a handful of settlements at first, all within designated areas meant to keep us safe until we adapt to the new climates and see how it all shakes loose. I've covered that before. I'm rambling. I'm terrified. God, I've been here so long. He came for Colin Hardash, but he got me too. I don't know where he got the shuttle manifest, but given his long trail of bodies, I wouldn't have been surprised. He dropped out of the oxygenation hatches, just plummeted down 20 feet, nothing but skin and bones, and there wasn't much skin to speak of. How he got away from us during the sweeps, how he survived up there, it's all being investigated. My team and I followed his trail through the oxygenation chambers. We found the missing sleep simulator in what we believed to be a faulty sleep chamber. Clever man knew about it and must have set everything up before, just in case he'd ever need it. Maintenance says the rigging was faulty, which explains a lot about his state. Saying he'd gone mad is a huge understatement. When he fell, he broke most every bone in his lower half. He pulled himself towards us little by little. That's gonna haunt my nightmares forever. The skeleton man grinning at me as he inches forward. That's good. That's very good. That's... It's all very, very good. Everything is perfect. Thank you, disc. Oops. God damn it. wanted to add that you need to keep yourself busy. You're alone can really mess with your head. You really shouldn't be there by yourself. The lounge is fine. Wait, media control. Video. Let's try music. I think we should eat something. I could have sworn there was more food here last time. Let's check the system. <sighs> yeah, let's get some silent Jaeger. Well, at least the kitchen is fine. Updated bottle protocol. 
First, thanks for your feedback. Based on your comments, future stations will not use glass bottles given their fragility. For the remainder of your stay, please see the updated bottle protocol below. Do not throw full or empty bottles. Carefully place used bottles in the waste chute. Do not place broken bottle pieces in the waste chute. Do not attempt to remove broken bottle pieces. They will be removed after your stay. Distribute meal. Go. Administrator terminal. Hope you've gotten settled in and are doing well. I haven't seen too many error reports coming from your station lately. I hope that means you're not seeing too many. That's good. It would be nice if it stays that way, but I doubt it. Thank you, Jeff. I'm glad for your vote of confidence. Imported food product. Get in there. That is a whole lot of bullshit that I don't care to read. This is what I think of your earthenware. You know what else I think? I don't think this is alcohol. Oh, fuck. Uh. Whoops. No, well, that seems to be working. Oh, only one per day. Fuck it. Somebody else can fix it. I accidentally dropped it. Oh, well. Let's go back to the greenhouse. Of course! <laughs> of course! No. Well, we lost a plant and we lost... Well, let's run the check. Oh, we lost a bunch of trees. Fuck! 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 Shit! Fuck! Fuck shit! Shit! Shit 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 shit! No 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 no! Fuck! Fuck! Fuck a shit! Fuck every shit! That's real bad. Wait, let's see how many digits we're looking for. Two, three, four digits. Oh boy. No, lounge, I want to. We're in space. We are in space. We have to be in space. 
it's important that we are in space. V S V S Where's the red pillow? Good old bathroom. We can always count on bathroom. Excellent question that I don't know the answer to. This is the scariest shit in the world. horse with two doors, one to the left and one to the end of the hall. Both doors are murky. You see a key on the floor in front of you. Do you pick it up? Cleanliness or mud? Mud. Mud, 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 mud. If following a cataclysmic event, you find yourself completely alone. <laughs> no! Most assuredly number four worse. Thank you, Gamzee! No, 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 Wait. Oh, fuck. Help us, Jeff. <laughs> oh man, we, we get out of here soon? That's gonna be fan fucking tastic. Mm-mm. 
Excuse me. Fuck it. All we gotta do is stay focused. It's very simple. We just stay focused. God, the subtlety here is just so fucking good. It's like somebody was like, hey, let's make a game that Alex is really, really gonna like and be extremely rattled by. This is so much more than I was expecting, and I'm delighted. So we have a few problems. Um, our terminal- FUCK! Not sure if game or... No. Hell no. Hell to the motherfucking no. There's a post-it down there. I wonder what kind of encouraging, well, thought out, helpful message it could have. Brianna Mathers. It's worse than a post-it. Okay. All right. <sighs> Veterinarian assistant block DC2, private log. They took them in the middle of a mass sleep shift. Crafty, our precious captain, no doubt, came up with that one. I'm so sick of his smiling face plastered all over every screen. I'm so sick of all of this. They took them to avoid riots and told us in small manageable numbers like we're children who need our hands held. They've got a point, though. No doubt some of the loonies would have tried to search the docking station. I want it out just as bad as anyone else, but there will be more chances. It's the worst kept secret on the ship, that we're ultim actively communicating with whoever these people are. Whatever. I want off now. We know faster travel's possible now, so why are we even still on this thing? Dinner with Darrow today. I think he's gonna ask to live together when we land. Ugh, no, I can hardly stand to look at him anymore. He's so... earnest. He's like a balding little puppy right underfoot. The thought of having to wake up next to... him for the rest of my life makes me gag a little. Okay, it makes me gag a lot. Still, I think I can bleed him for a little more. He gave me one of his beer chits during the Horzen celebration. Just gave it to me, like it was jewelry. Yeah. When he left for his sleep shift, I sold it to the landing supplier. Got a small fortune out of it, too. Let's say my poolside wet bar will now be a thing of beauty. Security's been bumped up. Like they aren't nosing around all the time anyway. One of them asked me point blank if I'd been supplying to that Archie guy that's been running loose. Do I look that stupid? Every pill is monitored here. And besides, you want to pick me up in this heap, there are easier and more legit ways to get it. Makes me wonder if No-Nose was involved. I wouldn't put it past a stupid idiot. Mom called, too. She's living in BA now with an Ava specialist. I wonder that con she used to uh, sucker him in. This game is available on Steam. Let's run a lounge check. Why the fuck not? Don't. Please don't. Thank you. Oh, I guess I should probably have a look in there. It's all good.
What's this? Hello, David Richeson. What encouraging words do you have for us? Water and sewage engineer. We encountered another ship today. It was surreal. The people on board claim their 20 generations are descendants, and the math math mathematicians and genealogy specialists on board agree. 20 generations and they've far outstripped us in terms of technology and what they're capable of. I guess the scientists knew this was all this was a theoretical possibility. The odds of the Dreamer 3 making it to New Yondal before newer, newer technologies created faster ships were slim, but the head haunchers were clearly taken by surprise at its appearance. Called it the Horzan. I have no idea what <coughs> if the that's the ship's handle or its model name, if they even have models for these sorts of things. I didn't get to talk to its crew. I guess us space plumbers don't rank, but it was a, as exciting as anything that's ever happened on board, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Uh, I was there at the bar watching on the big wall screen with everyone else in block DA5. They, wiggle, bleh, they woke all of us up for a quick news hit on it, too. Even let us have an extra whole eight hours of monkeying around with uh, and a few beers, no charge. Five years ago, to us colonists anyways, a millennium and a half to the rest of you poor saps. Poor saps. Three beer chits would have made me laugh. Now it's like winning the lottery. I traded one of them for an extra two lots of meal uh, of real estate in New Yondal. Not a bad trade, but it, one more beer would have, sure would have tasted good. A few of the colonists wanted to go with the horse end, but that was no go. Their ship was small and already brimming with folks. No room. But they uh, promised they could send a, on a ship with supplies and room and plenty to come on board if they want. There's going to be a lottery of sorts. The more you've worked, the more chances you've got to make it off. You're going to have to keep us all out of skeleton crew for that day, or otherwise they'd have some riots on their hands of folks stampeding for the ship. I reckon I ought to have a better than average chance of making it there if I wanted to, to but honestly, I'm liking life around here and I want that piece of property on New Yondal, something fierce. I love the biggest swimming pool you ever saw. And an automated bartender to boot. There's Tanya to think about too. She's still dead set on opening that aquarium, but she's been putting in as much hours as the regulations. Whoops. Come on. Next page. Next page. We'll give her down at the gene labs. She's been working hand-in-hand -hand with them folks in the communications department, making sure that everything on the planet is optimal for marine life. She said today the bioformation labs confirmed rainbow trout as big as my arm in the lakes of New Yondal. You believe that? Going out in my backyard with real grass under my feet? Sitting out in my hovo, catching real fish, bred and wild, like it was nothing. All this work I've been doing every minute, I've been awake to every year we've been asleep. It's all been for that, or a hundred thousand other dreams. I just can't imagine throwing all that away and jumping on board the horizon for some instant gratification. There's going to be folks that jump, sure, but me? I can taste that trout already. This guy really wants uh, fish. Is there anything wrong with the lounge? No, it's fine. It's all very fine. All right. Let's get some food. Fuck me. I really thought someone was going to clean this up. That's new. This doesn't seem super good. Why would they put a door behind the food storage?
course the emergency exit is locked. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. Oh, the control room. This seems real bad. Full station system check. yellow, amber, green, purple, blue. What do you mean air system below specification? Please reboot it. I'll be with you in a second. I really doubt you'll come down here since this area should be closed off for the beta mission, but if you do, remember what I said about the interior screens and find me on the ship when we get there. We're so close. Uh... Shit. I have no memory. Red OS. I feel like the ones that are crossed off. Amber, green, blue. Wait, what? Oh, does it just change the color? Oh, there we go. Okay, you know what? I really need to use the bathroom, so I'm just gonna go on a quick break, and we're gonna come back and reboot this and freak out. I guarantee you there's gonna be freak out. So, stay tuned. This is gonna be interesting. Resident view. Uh, that's bad. That's real bad. That's real, real bad. Alright, let's go... Reboot. All non-essential functions will be offline. Unexpected results. We have to. And then it comes back on, right? Back, back on? Reboot? Bet. I think we're in trouble, Bucky. I think we're on very, and we're in very, very, very bad trouble.
Oh dear. Well, that's not very good. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. real good holy fuck that was that was yeah that was real good well I'm impressed fuck we're gonna have to yeah well we've run out of game now so 
yeah, I, I'm gonna have to see what else we have. Holy shit. Wow. That's... That's pretty great. Alright, let's quit out of this one. I am sure I want to quit. Okay. <laughs> Shit, me. Wait, what do you mean in quotations beat the game? Oh dear. Let's see what the other achievements are. Huh. Well, that's exciting. Um. Shit, yeah, what else do we play here? We've got several things. Oh, I kind of want to decompress a little bit after that. That was fucking intense. I think I might want to play a little bit of Catacomb Kids just to, like, shake myself out. Because, <laughs> fuck me. We'll be back with that. Well, it's like... Damn. Does Verit Station seriously have a 100% rating? You guys are sweet. Oh, wow. That, I'm like really, really floored by that. That, that was just like laser targeted on exactly what I wanted out of a video game. And I hope that uh, that studio does some more stuff. Because that was seriously one of the best horror games I've played in a really, really long time. So yeah, we'll... Uh... Oh fuck, it's got multiple endings? Well yeah, I feel as though I'll probably be playing that again. But I, I'm definitely going to need a bit of unwinding time. But, uh, after that... Burr. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, it's, that was one guy? Oh, God damn it! What do you mean, app already running? Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's do it. Danielle Miller. Let's do that. Okay, so this game is real hard, and we're going to get trashed a lot. Who saw this last time? Oh shit. I am not a turkey. Hooray! Okay, so far so good. I don't know if it's necessarily better than Stanley Parable, but it's like kind of cut from the same cloth. And any game that does that, I'm generally... Holy fuck, there's a lot of you guys. There is someone there. Are they stuck there? Oh, fuck! Nope. We got ganged. Gang beat. I'm sorry, Danielle. Didn't even look at his stats. No, Stanley Parable is real good. I love that game a lot. It's another one uh, that is sort of setting a precedent for there being, like, tourism simulators. It was also, like, narratively really interesting. The only, pr like, the only problem with it was that I played the mod first. So a little bit of the surprise was, uh, was ruined. It's weird because, like, Stanley Parable is an excellent game. And if you're a fan of games or, like, storytelling or that sort of thing, you really ought to play it. But the weird thing is that, like, apart from the multiple endings, you can only really play it once. Well, that's not true. But you know what I mean. Like, the, the, the surprise is only going to have its maximum impact the first time. So that's not a criticism, it's just an observation. Uh, 
okay. We only have one hit point. I think we're probably fucked on this run. But we'll eat this ball of goo. You are now on fire. You are now gone. Ooh, is that meat? Potato! It's hard and bitter. Eat this guy. That is a trap. You guys talking about Dark Souls having- Oh, shit! That guy got kibbled. The, like, no advice on Dark Souls. The problem is, is that, like, even if you put that as, like, a giant sign, I don't know if it's gonna- I am still really bad at that roll jump. Um, well, I should probably put myself on the other side of the screen. Let's do that. Um, it's weird. It's, it's weird, because sometimes it's not so bad. Other times, like, Cam's last stream, it's just like, I'm done. Poor guy tilted right out. Because apparently people were running his ass raw. I only caught the end of it where he was just like, I'm done. That's the problem with that game. Everybody knows how to play it better than you. Let's see. All right. Just like magic. Yeah, that's another reason that I don't think I would want to stream magic is like, I get the impression that that's the people telling in it, telling you ist like game you can play on Twitch. That's not true, there's other ones that are probably worse, but it's just like, you want motherfuckers to tell you what picks to make and what plays to make? Try playing Magic! And I was like, not down. Not down. I don't mind helpful hints every once in a while, but fuck me. Alright. I really want to get a little further in this game, because it's very hard- FUCK! <laughs> Reflexes. It's all in the wrists. It's all in the wrists. Hello, useless door. Yeah, I want to get further in this game because, like, I want to see more of the content. Did I take one or two? No, I took damage there. Fuck. I just want to jund him out. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple games on Twitch that are, are worse than others, for whatever reason. Do I want to take a chance and throw this potion at this guy? It's warm to the touch. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, shit. Shit. Good old attack spam. Yum, yum, yum. Why is he naked now? Empty bottle. Um, <laughs> the backseating is worse with Cam. Yeah, I could see that. He does tend to play like very, very technical, uh, sort of expertise rewarded games like XCOM and Dark Souls. So, of course. Wait, do we have two inky potions? Shit, shittles. Captain Shitulon. You know what? Let's find out what this is. God damn it. That's probably not the best way to find that out, but hey! Oh, for those of you not on Twitter, uh, I have some bad news for you. Um, there will be no Adam this evening. So you're stuck with me. Oh, like, uh, let's do int. 
trajectory. How beautiful. Moderating Elantris when she switched from magic to learn Minecraft? I can't imagine that could be bad. A lady learning how to play Minecraft? There's no way people are gonna tell her how to do that. Ooh! God damn it. Ooh! Ha! Ah, ye! Okay, you know what? We don't want to be up there. We want to be down here. Hooray! We made it through one thing! Alright, alright. Slime! Die, slime. I eat your slime. I hope Adam will at least join in chat. I don't know what this blue potion does. Uh. Haha! -ha! Lucky! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, shit. Uh. Alright, alright. No, it's cool. We can deal with this. Fuck. That, I don't know if we can deal with it. Goodbye, rat. Goodbye forever. Oh, there's the, the end. What does this green potion do? Shit. Oh, you can eat mushrooms? Uh, well, you can. It's a stupid idea. No, wait, what am I doing? I need to drink this. Put it in my body. That's better. Thank God Lurchat isn't prone to grill and other Twitch monster catcalls. Uh, that one's so... Uh, you can't even... Who? Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, well, it's health potion. That's good. But... Let's find out what the pink potion is. Come on down here, buddy. Fuck! Dude! He just stabbed my face! That's the worst. Well. Feed another one into the grinder here. I just take the one with the highest health. Yeah, you can... Apparently eat anything, but it's not necessarily a good idea. Oops. Well, this is going to be short-lived. Just throwing this one right in the toilet here, folks. You know what? Goodbye. Goodbye. You just closed the chat during MDG. Yeah, man, that sucks. That really sucks. But it's just like... I honestly want to know what you can do to... to moderate... or just, like, to prevent people from being shitty in the first place. Oh, fuck! Goodbye. Um, yeah, the characters you have access to are randomized. Because, I mean, it's not even a problem that necessarily... Like, moderation is going to sort of stem the tide there, but the bigger problem is that just people do that shit in the first place. How do you fix that? You fix that, and then you don't have to moderate. It's not a moderation problem, is what I'm saying. It's just like, if... People, some people that I've talked to seem to, they, they treat the internet as this sort of, like, fixed point, as if, like, it being shitty is some sort of inevitability. It's like, well, that's the internet. It's like, well, yes and no. The internet is just people. And it's like, if we can't, you know, I don't know, should we, if we can't fix it completely, should we not try? That's crap. Oh, shit. Goodbye. This thing has really short range. Maybe I can throw this rock. Or not. Yeah, oh. Oh, shit. 
Go! Oh, we almost made it. The greater internet fuckwad theory. It's true. All right, Lauren Brownham. Let's do this. I mean, I guess it's just like everybody's... Ooh, plate mail. It's everybody's job to... I don't know. Regulate, educate, whatever. To just like make people be not shitty. Although that's tricky. You know, because it's like... It's, it's one thing to, you know, just scare off the people that are you know, shitty, you know, that's sometimes all you can do, but how much better would it be to just, like, make them no longer be shitty? Which is, of course, a lot more challenging. And I don't have a lot of answers about how that could happen, but... I don't know. I'm just falling onto spikes. <laughs> Small communities are, generally speaking, better. I guess that's like... You are less able to hide among the crowd. Regulate and moderate. I don't know, I just encourage everybody to just, like, be aggressively decent. I think we were having this discussion last time, where it's just like... I don't know that the, that the fighting... Uh, narrative when it comes to um, sort of being decent on the internet is particularly useful because it's like if you're fighting someone even if it is somebody like internet trolls that sort of implies that you need to combat and destroy them and I don't actually think that that's what you want I think that it's like how do I explain this it's like, maybe that, that makes them go away, but it's like, have we really made ourselves any better? Goddamn poison potion. It's so much harder to... Um, to sort of, like, change somebody's mind or behavior, but in the end, more rewarding. And more useful. Fuck, this game is hard. Yeah, it's like if you if you were to to destroy a bully's life, have you really actually improved anything? I don't think so. I think you're just as awful as they are, maybe worse. Like that's not solving anything. That didn't do a damn thing to that guy. This game, unlike Rogue Legacy, um, doesn't save. Uh, anything you, you start fresh each time it plays a lot like Spelunky by way of uh, Rogue Legacy without the legacy part uh, intelligence wait no nope. Uh, let's get, let's get defense. Extra tough. <laughs> Magical combat. Uh, oh, heal. Oh, yes, baby girl. Ooh, dark arts. Shadow cloak. Vampirism, plague, raise dead. Shh, I do not have learning points. What are these pale potions? There's a guy down there, maybe we can test it on him. 
You're looking at buying either this or Rogue Legacy? Um, honestly, Rogue Legacy. Like, because it's a finished game, this is an early access and I like it, but... Okay, that's Fire Potion. Um, but Rogue Legacy is really, really good and really polished. You're gonna get a lot of fun time out of that game. Hello. Uh. Goodbye. Oh! No, 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 not like that. Don't want to eat this mushroom. Fire and ice, you say. Still don't have any learning points. Rogue Legacy is really good. I think it's uh, well deserving of its overwhelmingly positive uh, rating on there. It's like, I played it and I've, I've been sort of slowly, like, in a backwards way getting into uh, roguelikes and Rogue Legacy was one of the ones that like really did it for me. Because I mean like it's a roguelike it plays like a sweet platformer um, because that's what it is uh, and it also has a sort of a persistence system where you do get incremental progress. It's called a some people called it a roguelite because it doesn't have quite the same like unforgiving nature that roguelikes are sort of famous for where it's just like start again idiot which is i guess part of the the appeal do we have any more learning points we do not um where the amount of the the gold that you accrue you can use to upgrade your infrastructure and i think improve uh, your lineage. Good! So, like, the, the characters that you get in future playthroughs start incrementally getting better. So, I thought that was really sweet. Um, I don't actually know what the, the first roguelike was. I'm, I think... I think the quintessential one is NetHack, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody, fe please feel free to correct me on that. I never played NetHack, so. I've heard Risk of Rain is real good, but fuck is it hard. That's one of the problems that I have with these games. Um, is I really like them, but... God damn, are they hard. And, like, I wouldn't want them to really be easier, necessarily, because it sort of comes with the territory. And I sort of face this dilemma where it's just like, I don't really want to spend a whole shitload of... God damn it! I still can't do that jump! Um, a lot of uh, energy to, to be really, really good at them. Because, like, I have this sort of... Can I walk through these spikes? Yes, I can. Son of a bitch! Oh, I don't have dash. Um, what was I gonna say? Where I, I sort of have to have to compare like how rewarding the experience is with how much of an investment I want to make into. God damn it! Well, it's like Dark Souls has a has a famously steep learning curve, but um, when I finally got into it, I felt that what I got out of the game was well worth uh, learning it. Because event like eventually, once you sort of get it, it becomes really, really fun. Um, but there is that sort of steep introduction that I've been over about a million times that I try to make easier for people thinking about playing it, because fuck, Dark Souls is such a good game. It's really, really good, and I'm on fire, because I hung out in lava. Ugh. A lot of people have recommended FTL to me, but I looked at it, what it like looks like and plays like, and I wasn't particularly interested. I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, too into platformers. Oh, shit! Uh... Take that, purple potion. I have no clue what that did to him. Come at me. How am 
much is this game? Probably like seven bucks. I'm gonna eat your friend. I ate your friend. Was that RNG mechanics that screw you over four fifths of the way? I think that was, that may have been Cam who said that, and I think I listened to him. Yep. I think I made him mad. Oh! That's interesting. Oops. Oh, okay, Cam tried it until he didn't like it. Yeah, that's the other reason. Like, I, I heard what... I heard Cam's experience, and he did not paint a very complimentary picture of it, and I was like, eh. Like I said, so, like, a, a number of factors prevented me from really wanting to bother trying it. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Maybe. We're not good. We are still good. There's fucking bats everywhere. I don't know that I would, I would play a traditional roguelike. Uh, when, you know, I have ones that like this that I really, really like. Like, I think I can get... I can sort of imagine what... Uh, how that experience would be different. I get the impression that those are games that have maybe not aged gracefully and just jumping right into spikes. What about the Talos Principle? I played it, and I liked it. I don't know that I'll go back and play it. I had a really dumb criticism of it, and it's like, don't, don't listen to this because it's a dumb criticism. And I'm aware of that. Um, uh, I didn't not like it but I was just very, very cognizant that it was portal strapped to uh, the Stanley Parable, which are two good games, and it resulted in a third good game. So it's not actually even a problem with the... Severed arm, cool. Uh, it's not a problem. It's my problem, which is stupid, and it's a stupid criticism. I don't actually know where I'm going with that, but no, it looks good, and it, I, yeah, I played through it. It was very well designed. Don't have any issues with that, but I just don't know if I want to play it. I'll tell you a horrible secret: I never beat Portal Two. I don't actually remember why. I think I just lost my opportunity to to be playing it when it was out, and then. I just kept putting it off. Whoa. So it just ended up not happening. So I don't know, it's like maybe at some point. Although I might, I don't know. It also just seems like foolish to play it now. Cause it's like so far past, you know, being fresh. Dwarf FTL's big problem is it doesn't teach you anything or have an easy mode. It just lets you muddle through to the end and then kills you without warning. That sounds like bullshit. I think I would be very angry with a game experience that did that. Because it's like... In a game like Spelunky or, for the most part, Dark Souls, when I get killed, I feel like I, at least on some level, deserved it. I was like, oh, I wasn't paying attention. But if it was just actually like, oh yeah, you're dead now because of a thing we didn't tell you about. It's like, come on, man. Yee! Whoops. There are, are a couple of genuinely bullshit parts in Dark Souls, but for the most part, it is a tough but fair game.
I don't know, maybe we'll play that next. I don't know how long we're gonna be here today. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I'd be able to play it with, uh, with the chat around anyway. <laughs> FTL isn't fair. Yeah, that's re yeah, that, I mean, I think I get the appeal, but I don't, it does not sound like a game that interests me. Well, why did I eat that? I'm such an idiot. Why? Why, slime? Tell me why I ate it. We appear to have differing experiences. And that's the thing, right? It's just like different people might experience that game differently. It's like the dress. Is it blue and black or is it uh, white and gold? It's maybe not a good comparison because the dress is objectively blue and black, but some people perceive it as white and gold. But you know what I mean. The same thing viewed by different people from different perspectives can be different things. It's like the, the old lady rabbit picture. Pimavers, welcome back with the resub. I've played Hotline Miami, and I think it's really good, but fuck is it hard. I couldn't get past, like, the first boss, and I was just like, I can't do this. I'll leave it to experts. Because it looks really- it's- it's sweet. I dig that game, but god damn is it hard. Another game that I think is pretty fair. I mean, maybe I haven't played the bullshit parts, but... Yeah, you have to be so precise in that game. It luckily subscribes to the sort of, um... Uh... Super Meat Boy school. Of, um... Of do-overs, where it's just like, as soon as you die, start again. At the same level, and you just, like, can keep doing that. There was... I can't remember where I saw it. It was talking about, you know, games where it's like, if you fuck up, you... If there's a if, there, if there's a game where you can get one shotted a lot, you need to allow the player to like restart immediately for them to really enjoy it. Oh boy, electricity! Zappo, shit! No, I got paralyzed. Yeah, that's a that's a good observation. Simple does not mean easy. I think Danielle is having a bad day. Cheer her up, won't you? Swing. The extraest of tough. Holy fuck! Shit a dick nose. Ah, why? 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 <sighs> All right. That potion did nothing. Oh, fuck. There are so many spike traps around here, I don't know how we're going to survive this. Well! <laughs> oh dear. Maybe we're microdosing. Did I play Rogue Legacy? Yeah, I mentioned it at the beginning of the conversation. Uh... Oh, have I played VVVVVV? I don't know who has. That's another one that's... That game looks real good, and I played a bit of it, and I was like, this is super sweet, and I don't think I could ever beat it, because Jesus Christ. I've watched people play through parts of that game, it's just like, fuck me. Ooh, it's so ham.
Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. How are we alive? How... How are we alive? Bonk. Blorp. Uh, I did play Thomas as alone. I didn't get very far into it, but man, I really liked it. I think I just, that was another one that just, I, I got distracted by stuff and I didn't end up finishing it, but I, I generally speaking, really liked it. I never thought that I would develop such feels for cubes. Like the part when, um, oh, what the hell's her name? She falls into the water and floats. I was like, she discovered she was a superhero. I was just like, no, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> Fuck. No, that game was real good. Uh, okay, sure. Orb of leveling. Let's do this. Defense. Extra tough. Yeah, cubes and squares and rectangles. Yeah, Dark Souls doesn't doesn't rely too much on RNG. Like, there's an element of it where it comes to, to loot and, like, boss patterns and, like, some attacks. But generally speaking, most of what you do in that game, you have control over. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't get distracted fast, I just get distracted very effectively. This is a ham sandwich. Boarding party dies. <laughs> I like how the lure advice is you need to stop playing video games. It's like sometimes... Oh shit. I am not a turkey. I am a young boy thrown into a dungeon for crimes I perhaps did not commit? I don't know. Polished jagged axe of removal. This is strictly better than. Whoosh. Teach me, Histy. People seem to have a very strong fondness for FTL. But I'd only urge you to be understanding of people who didn't have that experience. It's like, that's super! I'm glad you like it. A lot of people didn't. They're not wrong. Oh, histy. Wait, we made it to the thing, maybe. Sure, let's leave. Oh, boy. Mm, excuse me. Excuse me. So Pacific Ramazon, I think it exemplifies delicious trash. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. I love that movie. It also had a bunch of, like, really legitimately great stuff. Like, it was, hooray, everybody in the world, as opposed to, USA, USA. Let's see what's... Oh, sh... Fuck, 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 fuck. No! Not like this! Not like this! Oh, boy. Yeah, I love Pacific Rim. And the happiest I was about that movie was um, at the end. It's been out for a while, so don't worry about the spoiler. Where um, uh, Malcolm Mori and whatever the fuck the, name, <laughs> the main guy's name was, they're sitting in the life raft and they're looking at each other and I was like whispering to myself, don't kiss, don't kiss, don't kiss, God, don't kiss. 
And they didn't. And I was like, yes, finally, they can have a relationship that's not just boning. For once, they can be friends or allies or something. I was really stoked about that. Because that's the problem, is it just like... The fuck? That was weird. Um... And- No! You f Wait, water, water, water? No, we're dead. Um... The main guy's Booker DeWitt. Yeah. It's just, like, in, in movies and pop culture and fucking everything, it's like... Men and women are able to have one type of relationship. And it looks like this. Or variations thereof. If there's a dude and a lady in a, in a piece of fiction, they gotta fuck. That's the only type of relationship they're capable of. And that's bullshit. And I hate that that's, you know, the, the state of things. Because it's like, you can have tons of different kinds of relationships. You could be rivals. You could be, like... <laughs> I hate using this word, but frenemies. You could, you know, be, amb like, ambiguous or fucking just pals or anything. But no, they always got a pork. Or, you know, be romantically involved in some way, because... It's just a, it's such a childish, narrow-minded view of, like, people. You know, it's just like, well, but what... A, it's almost saying it's just like, well, what else are women good for, right? It's like, that's awful. What is the... Oh, it's the, the level up orb. No, come back, level up orb! I love you! No! There we go. Got it. <sighs> I have opinions. And luckily, I have a streaming channel that allows me to put them onto the internet. Where are we now? Oh shit. Fuck it. I feel like to be actually good at this game, I might need to con like actually concentrate on it as opposed to having like an in-depth conversation with the chat. But that's the problem. Is it always gets so interesting. You want to talk about things because it's important. And then we get killed. The char player character can have many types of relationships with the level up orb. Absolutely. The creator of Dread apparently threatened to withhold the IP when the script writers wanted to make Dread and Anderson kiss. Good for him. It's like, come on. Can we do something different for once? And just think, when you come back to it eventually, it'll be refreshing and new. Well, I never saw the Lego movie. A lot of people said that it was like jizzing rainbows and other people were like, eh. Surf delicious curry. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up this thing. I'm not gonna fuck up this. Wait, I have to. Uh oh. Wait, did we just, we fucked up. Well, we can't get through here now, so let's take another route. This comes back to the, uh, the problem being not one particular thing, but it being only that thing, right? It's like there is nothing wrong with a het romance in fiction. Nothing at all. There is, however, a problem with only het romance in fiction. It's like if you had to eat the same cheeseburger every day for the rest of your life, you'd go nuts. Unless you're like 
a weirdo. Well, maybe you're not a weirdo. Some people really like sameness and routine. And maybe that's where some of the problem comes from. Is, you know, there's some people who really want the same thing over and over again, absolutely identical, you know, every time. And they get upset about change and evolution and stuff like that. Um, and then it's like, well, what the fuck do we do? There is comfort in routine, but monotony as well. This way. There's no comfort in my face. I don't actually know what that means. Maybe somebody finds their face comforting. Or delicious. Clean stick. Nope. Oi! No, you get over here. Come on, fucker. Ow! Battle me! I got battled. You find my face comforting. Um, thank you, I think. The hell was that? Lantern stolen. There we go. I have a crown, I think. Jedi hate change. Purple potion. What do you think our over and under is on this? Mr. White Key, welcome back with your resub. Good to have you back. Oh, fuck me! Yang, 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 yang. I feel like we might need to, at some point, switch to a game that isn't gonna, like, be me f slamming into a brick wall over and over again. <laughs> Let's see what else we have in our list. Maybe we can put it to a vote. There's another narrative game that we had, but I don't know if I want to do two of those in, in one day. Maybe we'll save that. I was sort of half joking about playing Stalker Clear Sky. Yeah, I guess we should go back to Darkest Dungeon. It's been a while. I mean, we can put in some hours on that. What time is it? Let's well, should take a break and then we'll do that. I wonder if my save is still here. We have to install it anyways. It's only 700 megs though. Alright, well, we'll download that and then we'll be back shortly. Also, I would probably not even hate playing Rogue Legacy, so that's another option. Well, maybe we'll leave it up to the, the mystery box. In fact, no, it's not the mystery box. We'll actually do a straight up straw poll. I mean, I talked about how great I think it is. Donuts!
I need to get to the main screen to full <coughs> screen this, I think. Uh, there we go. All right. Let me just fix the bottom here. Is there a hole in my head? Oh, it's green. God damn it. Well, whatever. I don't know if this is a hat for a feed dump, but I don't care because I'm going to wear it until my head overheats, which could be soon. All right. We're night. I'm Nightman. Oh, this game's really good. Hopefully this stream will show you why. Coins. That air control, though. Ugh. Fucking smash everything. That guy? Fucked. See, this is the one thing that uh, I think... Um, Catacomb Kids needs to change. It needs to allow you to go down like this. I don't know. I don't understand why it's tapped down twice. So hopefully they fix that. The fucking clown. Still undecided on whether or not you like this game? Huh. Well. Not wrong with not liking it. Whoop. This game involves a lot of state smashing. Oh look, a whole bunch of knights. I wonder what that means. Hello? Let's start a Legacy. I'm a Legacy. Stop, <laughs> sorry, it's the top. Do you even dost thou hoist? Whee. Man, if you like smashing stuff, journal entry number one: treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king, to bring back, bring order back to the kingdom. He has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed wood and into Castle Hampson. Cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. To fail this quest will be an embarrassment to my name. God damn it. I'm a classy, classy man. Smeleton! Fuck you! You just 20 would me. You piece of shit. Oh, right. There's so much stuff in this game that's really good that I'm just remembering. Even if I'm really bad at it to start. Like, you see that little indicator that shows you when a projectile from off screen is coming at you? Ugh. That's cool. Bleh. Except this motherfucker right here. Cannon! Oh, skeletons. Always throwing bones in arcs. I need to get some health. Holy shit! You! No, we'll come back to that. So, this will... The legacy part will be revealed momentarily. We'll see how long I can survive on this life. 
Yeah. Shit. Oh no! It's almost over for us. Come on, give me food. Surly. God damn it. Slipped and impaled on spikes. <sighs> well, that's it for us. Let's choose an heir. Oh, fuck. So, here's the legacy part. When you die, you come back as your successor. As one of your children. And... They have quirks. Some of them are good. A bunch of them are bad. And they also have classes. So we have the Barbarian, who... Okay, so... Gay Barbarian, Tunnel Vision. I think it's, like, blinded on the sides. I refuse to play any character with Vertigo because it flips the screen vertically. Uh, yeah, no, this guy seems pretty good. Let's do Sir Skunky. He's an endomorph. He's real big. Let's do it. And then there's the, um, the sort of, like, increasing your, your castleage, uh, <clears throat> system. Where you pay gold to, okay, we want health up or mana up. I think we want health up. Upgrade knight. So we need more gold. All right, and then we can go back to the manor. Okay, sweet. This is for you to test stuff. This guy, he wants blueprints. Right now he can't make anything, but later he will be able to make many things. Let's go into the castle. Hey, death. One must pay the tarot. So this is an interesting system where you can't hoard money like over playthroughs because when you enter the castle Sharon takes all your man all your money so you it gives you an incentive to spend it all all right let's do it <clears throat> so each time you run through the castle the look for it, or the, the layout is procedurally generated based on the area theme. So that's where the rogue part comes in. See? Rogue Legacy. It's clever. It's a play on words. Sue me. Oh, oh right, I have magic. I forgot about that. Oh shit, I hate this hallway. I hate this hallway so much! No, we're dead. I was killed by a, a Charite. Well, so Wizarel, the mage, Lady Stephanie. Maybe. Sir Taco. The knave. Let's do Lady Stephanie. Upgrade knight. Hooray! So now our knights become paladins whenever they show up. Uh, and we don't have an enough gold. I like how she has a huge beard. I enjoy that. Yeah, this is Lady Stephanie. The magnificent facial hair. Copper Lilia is uh, the swearing. Ow, see? She's a salty lady.
Wait a minute. Aha! Ho ho ho! Uh. I did it! I found the blood sword. Blueprints. Any sort of conspicuously empty room like that might have a secret in it. Shit! Aw, oh, right in the ass. Slain by a wall turret. No vertigo. Lady Sonya is a paladin. Sir Useless. Sure. Alright, Sir Useless, let's do this. We did not make very much bank that time. We also have chocolate today. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's a way to block. What the hell is it? Guardian's shield. How the hell do I- I don't remember how to block. There we go. Oh, it's Y. God damn it. This is the straight worst. Hooray, we made some money. Ooh, that was not too bad, Bank. Was it a magic card? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? Ugh. This place is bad. Aya. Ah, uh, uh, double Aya. Uh. It's been a while since I played this, so I need to get used to how everything works. <laughs> oh god, the one that causes hallucinations is a real bad trait to have. Because it just spawns enemies that don't actually exist. Sure, Globber. Lady Henrietta. Hypergonadism. Oops. He's permaroided. Let's do this. Alright. So now we get a branch. Hmm. I don't remember which one I like more. I'm just gonna- oh no, I can't increase my- well, I may as well. Wait, 90? Fuck. Well! Two fifty. <clears throat> Five hundred. <laughs> Alright. I think you pass on your equipment as well. Go on, Chantress gives you exit to the jump and dash runes. Now I'm remembering. I can hit stuff. Ah, good old wall beef. Oh! Fuck that one up. We're doing good today. Oh, God. This is embarrassing. That guy's really hitting me hard. Come on up in here. Come at me, bro. Really. Alright. We did it. God, I hate these rooms! Ah, I didn't even try. Nope. Nope, nope, everything is nope. 
going to be a long path back to not sucking shit in this game. Come on, we gotta get some bank. We gotta get some bank. Do it for the D! What time is it? Flame a lock. Okay, we've got 80. Let's at least get 90. Nope. abilities that you fuck that you get um as secondaries correspond very loosely with uh castlevania items like you have the the axe that goes around and the chakram goes straight lady sonia a savant she's a paladin sir taco again lady shinoa Well, she's got faster movement speed, so I'm going to take her. Oh, 80 again? That's fucking frustrating. Whee! I'm so fast! I'm going to get all the C. Savant switches your spells after each use. Right! Hi. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. Oh, I'm so fucking miserable with down attack. You don't even know. Fantastic. I'm also really miserable at remembering I have abilities. Ah! Come on! Why am I so bad at everything? Smell a ten. Fuck. We're dead. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Can we please get at least 90? Nope. Fuck. I am playing on the streaming PC. No, not on the streaming PC. Sorry, on the, on the game PC. There's no way to not do that. Hypochondriac. Oh, right. The knave. The barbarian. Go with Lady Lisa. So disappointing. So she has no nostalgia. I think early on I need to not be a pile of garbage at this game. Man, it has been a lot longer than I thought since I played this last. Fuck me. Look at this garbage. Look at how awful I am. Just bungling around like a chump. Jumping into spikes. Throwing my life away. Fucking Doombus. Okay, we got 90. So we're not total failures this time. We are total failures this time. Stay focused. Oh god, why would you say that to me? 
Please add that to the advice bot. Ah, bullshit. Alright, an endomorph is nostalgic. Hypochondriac mage. Vertigo. Well, that choice is easy. Uh. So, hypochondriac is a fun one. Because whenever you take damage, the game exaggerates how much it is. You'll see. Okay, we need runes. Yep, da 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 da. So despite me being 2,300, yeah, that sounds about right. Shit. So the that it's a two yeah 2,723 damage. I don't think that's how much I took, but nice try. You're doing so bad. Really? I'm so awful! <laughs> that down attack, though. Lady Chun-Li. Lady Charlotte. Sir Hornsby. He seems pretty swole. Upgrade mage. Magic damage up. The architect just went up in price? Shit. Well, we can't afford anything, really. Let's check our statistics. Oops. Hypergonadism knock enemies out of the park, and I can't get knocked back. I'm gonna just beef people out. My sword is so swole. that. Okay, I'm hoping to have a good run with this guy because he's jacked as fuck. I want that money. I want him dollars. Oh shit. Uh, we'll come at that from an angle that isn't from below. I hate these fucking hallways. Ah. Uh, uh. No! Come on! Fuck. Shit! Oh right, I have this thing. No, 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 come on! Welp. Oh, peripheral? Okay, peripheral arterial disease is really weird. You know what it does? You don't trigger spikes. Alzheimer's. That's bad. Barbarian HP and beef pools are swapped, actually. Eh. No, let's just do Lady Sonia. Fucking 40. How embarrassing. I'm really fast. See, I know that the trick is to push down and attack. That's why it's embarrassing. Or not, really, because, like, who gives a fuck about being bad at video games, ultimately? It is a little frustrating being bad at stuff you like. You now know how I feel about illustration. Ah! 
Ow, that sucked. Squire chest plate. <laughs> really? Was a setting to do that? Hmm. Oh, congenital insensit insensitivity to pain. I can't remember what that one does. I think that's the opposite of, uh, um, what the fuck's it called? Uh, exaggeration? Where you just register zero? See if that works better. Really? Welp. Oh, you don't see your health bar. I'm huge. Whoa, am I big? Not be scrubs. Let's not be scrubs. Let's let's not be scrubs. Oh shit! Almost scrubbed. That was better. I think I'm just gonna have to get reacclimatized to this. You painting son of a bitch! Projectiles that go through walls are my enemy. a lot of health though. Ah! Not for long! We'll do it. Yeah, she's a big lady. You can tell by the little bow. But otherwise wearing, like, dude armor. Well, just armor armor. With little, uh, whatchamacallits. Horns. There's a roughly 50% ratio of men and women in this game, I think. I mean, it's up to the RNG, but it, from my observations, it's been pretty pretty even. And they get the same attributes uh, as everybody else. Yeah, large hitbox. That was, that was a bit hammy. And here we are on the other end of the spectrum. We're gonna play Lady Antoinette because she's tiny and she has IBS. We have 20, 250 gold to work with. Let's uh, unlock this guy. 150. Oh, that's so fucking frustrating. <laughs> Sometimes when you jump, you fart. Also, yeah, like, uh, your character's gender doesn't affect your statistics at all. Holy shit! I'm gonna be farting a lot. Oh fuck. I'm so teeny!
So this game, among other things, does its actual like core gameplay really well. Because it's it's pretty simple and just like this is what I this is a good example when I talk about like tight controls. This game has fucking tight controls. It just means that like it's very responsive, you go where you want to, you've got good air control. Which is not realistic, but if you want realistic, why the fuck are you playing a platformer? Well, yes, I can change what direction I'm moving midair. Why? Because it's fun. Good artwork, good music, good concept, good animation. This game's just sweet. And because just your day-to-day -day moving around and fighting stuff is fun, it's got a lot of replay value. And variety. Haha! -ha! Dosh! What the hell's- Yay! That's good. Oh. How much money did we get? Ambivalius. The knave. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. 370. So we want... Oh, come on. Attack up. Go, uh, magic up. Okay, that'll do. I should probably buy runes, but, uh... It's not like we're gonna run out of money. Wait, what? What are my statistics for this guy? There's a lot of question marks coming out of him. Why are you so confused? Okay, so this one, this, uh, the having two left hands means that my attacks come out of my back. Which can sometimes be just like, not even a disadvantage, just a peculiarity. Like, for example, see I can attack while moving away. Well, that's ham. Like, that's kind of sweet that I can attack while retreating. See, some of the things are, like, unambiguously good, others are unambiguously bad, and others are just sort of different. Fuck Spikes! Butt knives. Stereo blindness. I'm trying to remember which one this is. Oh, right! When you turn, your sprite just flips. It's weird. It looks like Paper Mario. Whee! It's also really distracting. I think I might be getting myself acclimatized a little bit more. Oh shit. Oh, this is bad! No, fuck! What am I doing? 
130 is not a lot of money, but I'll take it. Also, in case it's not clear what I, I mean when I say air control, you jump and then you can change your trajectory in midair. So you can do impossible shit like that. Like jump all the way out and then come all the way back. It just means that like you can adjust where you're gonna land and it, for platformers it's really good. I know it's not, yeah, it's not realistic at all, but it's just, that's another function of tight controls. It's just like I can choose where the hell I'm going. And I feel like, you know, you can do the weird little midair jumps. Or not, not midair jumps, but just like adjusting where you are on the fly. Some games will commit you to a trajectory once you've hit jump, and it's they're a little more frustrating to play, I find. Oh, I love Clumsy. Clumsy is actually pretty good. Let's see what the blacksmith and... Oh, he, I actually, I think his stuff is all really expensive. Oh, 175. Bullshit. Uh, let's go upgrade the castle instead. Nope, not enough money. Er, excuse me. I really like Clumsy because it just means that you automatically attack um, stuff you run into. I think it's actually a really positive trait. You fuckers. No, sad up. Okay, he didn't last very long. Fuck! Fuck. Yeah, the Nest Castlevanias are a good example of uh, locking you into a trajectory, which is part of why they're so fucking hard. Because you're like, I need to aim this jump. The one. What? I don't know that one. Let's find out. I don't know what the one actually means. I'm sorry, what? What? Oh god! I'm... I'm Lana Wachowski! This is weird. Journal entry number two. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he's planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The vector will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back in the royal city, where we will once again be treated with the respect that we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes will bow as we pass, but I'm getting at it myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Uh... God damn it. Hmm. Oh wait, we can do this one, maybe? Oh, can I hit the one that's above us? Nope, I think we're fucked. Well, uh, the fairy rooms, there's a chest where if you satisfy a very specific objective, you will open the chest.
Goodbye. Oh, do they have a new black white warrior creature? I guess warriors is gonna be the new like tribe. I gotta say that the the black white uh, um, pump guy from the last set is really good. Pump lady, I should say. The one that pumps toughness is not very good though. Have our children started fucking dragons yet? No, but that does happen. I mean, I assume that's how it happens. No! Sack a warrior to drain your opponent. Eh. Let's continue being the one. 220, come on, one time. Wait. Is that enough to... We need to, like, 175? For... Yes! Perfect. This is really, really handy. I'm still the one, apparently. My bloodline is potent. Ooh, shit! What the fuck? Hello? Can we be friends? Mm. God damn it! No! Fuck! Ugh. Not look at that nearsightedness or farsightedness. That's not gonna be great. Can't see shit, Captain. Luckily, when you break stuff, you gain MP. Idiot. Son of a beach. God damn it. Hey, Vision, you say? I don't remember this one. Doesn't look so bad. Glare, please. I don't remember what Tunnel Vision does. Seriously, using all my MP? Or is that like. No, oh, no early indicators. Okay, that's not so bad. Every kill gives you 6 HP. Hmm. How exciting! Oh, the clock drains over time. Derp. There we go. Yay! That wasn't so bad. Oh, 
what are my thoughts on Narset? I think she's totally sweet. An interesting lore. Wizards is really taking the diversity thing pretty seriously. I'm hoping that it uh, sets a precedent for everybody else. Because for those of you who didn't read the article, uh, in the lore, and god damn it, canonically Narset is on the autism spectrum. So how do you like them apples? Telephobia? What? Poor Sir Jacob. We have 440 to work with now, though. But seriously, that card is amazing. Upgrade Barbarian. Wait, let's get the other abilities. Ooh, double jump. There we go. Alright, we're broke now, but... Hachoo! My favorite fucking ability in the world. Fuck. I kind of like that they've been, like, very sort of subtle about it. That they're not, you know, not like, Hey, guess what? Gu guess what we did? We did this! It's just sort of like, it's in the character description. Uh, in, in the sort of, like, uh, the lore thing. They're just sort of like, yep, doop doop doop, and then she was this and that, and also this. J Whoa. Right, this thing. No, fuck! Shit! Ass! 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 7,000 asses! Well. Oh, dear. We fucked up. Three hundred. More damage. It's not always a boss. Sometimes it's just a painting. Also, when you add in, like, double jump and dash, your freedom of movement is so huge! God damn it. There we go. Yes, I will take that one. Um, somebody, I think, gave me an ask of whether I was a Vorthos or not, and I was like, I am in a particular way. I think I'm more of a Vorthos about, like, little art details. Because I don't really read much of the, the magic uh, lore, and there's a couple things that I'm a fan of, but I don't, like, read the books or too much of the... Uh, 
extra material. But, um... Yeah, I like little little details and interesting stuff about Magic the Gathering. Like... What's a good example? Uh... Oh, shit! Let's gamble! Oh, should we bother? Fuck it. No! A UHF reference was in the box. Um, I was gonna say, uh, there was a cycle of creatures. Um, uh, fuck, which one was it? I don't remember the expansion, but it was... It was a cycle of creatures that would discount their tribe by one. And... Uh, there was a fucking goblin. I should know it. It's in my goblin deck. It gives your goblins haste and all goblins that you cast uh, cost less. But I'm just blanking on what the hell it is. I'm gonna check on weapons. Squire sword. Blood sword. Goblin Warchief. Yeah, uh, the Warchiefs. There you go. Thank you. Um, and an interesting detail that I noticed, or somebody brought it to my attention, is if you look on the cards, every single one of them has a little gemstone around their neck of the appropriate color. And I think it's implied that it's uh, the... Um, there's, a, there's another cycle that I think was in that set, or a previous one that was all uh, gemstones that would reduce the cost of colored spells by one. So if you look at it, they all have those stones around their neck. So it's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Medallions. Yeah, a sapphire medallion, like ruby medallion, shit like that. Oh fuck, chicken, chicken! That was weird. Also the gem palm guys. I have a my character has a phobia of chickens. Are they moxes? I thought they were medallions. Entry number three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Sharon has taken all that I own as payment. He's even pilfered my private coffers. I've left my children, wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It's fair because all of all who have entered none have returned, but I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Sure. That was a good crit. I'm playing as the Knave class, which upgrades to Assassin. And oh, shit. Well. It's really useless, the third. Let's get him. 140, I don't think we can buy anything. Nope. Uh, explain the point of the Karoo lands. I think it ramps you a little bit, but they're not very good. They got really quickly outclassed uh, by the um, uh, there's that cycle of Karoos from... or pseudo Karoos from... Uh, Ravnica? Like original Ravnica? That in the right context are actually better. Because you can bounce... you play it and you bounce a land, not an untapped land, which is already better. 
um, you bounce a land to your hand, and then you can play it again, which may be a corner case, but you can you can use it to return lands that have effects when they come into play. So it's like, for the sake of argument, one of the, the temples, you could bounce that to your hand and play it again to scry again. Oh yeah, I heard about the Amulet Bloom deck that makes those lands, like, crazy-ass bananas busted. Holy jeekus! Well... Baldness actually do, I wonder. Let's take another barbarian. I mean, really, the the lands you want to be playing are the uh, um, are fetches or snaps, as we call them locally, for whatever reason. Boldness and gay traits do nothing. Damn it. Ooh, another journal entry. Entry number four. Everything about this castle is off. I can't seem to keep track of my headings, and there's no sun or stars to guide me. <laughs> I find myself backtracking constantly and must painstakingly map out my progress lest I go in circles. The maps I've pilfered off the corpses of other adventurers are breathtakingly inaccurate. It's almost as if they're describing a different castle altogether. Perhaps this place does something to the mind. Or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? You really think Amulet's gonna get banned? I don't know. How prone to disruption is it? Also, is is it a modern deck or a legacy deck? It must be a modern deck. Yeah, Wizards have been, has been doing some weird stuff with the ban list for, uh, for modern, where it's just like, and every deck that gets good, they just try to wipe out. And I'm like, what are you, okay, I don't know what you're doing. It's like they've banned Bloodbraid Elf and like, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, that one that the the three three for one. It's not actually a three three for one, but it just gets pumped when you have lands in play. Turns out my memory for card names goes completely in the toilet when I'm playing video games. Wild in the cattle. They banned Pod. They unbanned Bitter Blossom and nobody played Fairies. This one's been pretty good for gold so far. Derp doesn't refer to a specific condition. I got an ask about this. Someone trying to inform me that Derp is ableist. And it isn't. It's in my it's in my my back catalogue. Um, because I've, I've read a bunch of stuff about, like, making the case for that. So, like, I think I, I answered that question to, to, well, to my satisfaction. I can't even think. 700. 
hundred gold. Hmm, do we want to upgrade barbarian? Let's check. Let's get more equipment. Sure. Perfect. Okay, we have some equipment now, and we've got 40 left. That's good. It's this weird thing about, like, words, right? It's like, we, you know, some people try to make the case that it's like, because someone at some point may have used it in a hurtful context, we must never use it in case it is used in a hurtful context, which is just like, uh, no. Nah. I don't think so. Um, there are, however, um, words that are a lot more unambiguously hurtful, and I have tried to clamp down on, uh... Oh, I didn't equip it. Whoops. Um, I've tried to clamp down on, it's like... I am trying to be a lot more sensitive about, like, retard. Because I think that is really hurtful. So... Wait. No, I totally did equip it. Oh, wait. Son of a... There we go. Why can I not equip this? Oh, because I need more weight. There's a weight system that I completely forgot about. Real bad. <laughs> I fucking love Gerber. Can I just... Again... Just sort of, like, talk about how great Adam is for coming up with that term? I'm a huge fan of, like... Gender ability, you know, XYZ neutral terms of abuse because you can use them. Because sometimes you do just want to tell somebody that, you know, they suck, but in a way that, you know, isn't specifically invoking some trait that, you know, is unnecessary. And so something like Gerber Baby is really great. <laughs> I love it, right? You know, it's just like. I don't think anybody can be offended by being called a Gerber Baby. Just like, you literally eat baby food. It's like, oh. Because it's like, it's goofy enough that you could just blow it off. But it also, like, it, it has that sort of percussive uh, quality that an insult needs to be effective. I don't know, I'm a big fan. Fuck. Scrub is a good one. Scrub douche canoe. The irony being that douche is frequently used to describe men? <laughs> I always thought that was, like, peculiar. Not, like, good or bad or anything, but just unusual. Gerber baby is Robocop discrimination? Shit! What are we doing? Well, I did a whole lot of flying around doing nothing. Oh, I think I'm running out of video game juice. How long have we been up for, though? I might have to pack it in soon. Yeah, what, uh, beef whistle? Jesus. What's our uptime looking like? Well, <laughs> Gerber's just Four hours. All right, well, let's go to the end of the four hours and, uh... oh, there you go. Um, and we will wrap it up there.
clown. Six health. Whoops. We fucked up. We fucked up. We fucked up. We're somehow still alive. Ah, oh, boned. What do I have lined up for tomorrow's Let's Know? Nope. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to be playing with Surge. It's backwards, but it's condemned too. Um, we had a very successful playthrough. Part play, a partial playthrough at uh, Goticon, and I liked it so much. And the, uh, um, the response was so good that I decided that we should continue it. Because, man, that game's sweet. In maybe not the right way, but... Oh, wow. It's real dark. This sucks. Also, I played the first game with Surge, so... It's not Jam on the Gas. That's a different game, but uh, similar vein. What little of it we played was real good. Yeah, Surge does not deal well with... with, uh... with horror games. <gasps> wow, was somebody, like, seriously coming in with... What the... Why did all my health come back? Did somebody seriously come in here with, like, 2004-era insults? It's like, oh, no! Don't call me gay. More than anything, that's just like... Are you 10? Who, who does that anymore? Actually, it was like when I was, uh, I was in a stream one time and 4chan invaded. And it was the most embarrassing thing I'd seen in a long time. Sure. Uh, because they were, like, telling the streamer to, like, put shoe on head and just being a bunch of asshats. And it, w it was almost quaint. I was like... Oh, you poor fucking children are just discovering all that stuff. And you're not even aware that it's a decade old. Or more. It was just really, like I said, almost quaint. Probably more pathetic than anything. That's how I feel when somebody comes in. And it's just like, you're fucking gay. It's like... It's like seeing a relic of the past. It's like, oh, you people still exist! Wow! Let's put this antique in a box where it belongs. How did the streamer react? She handled it really well. She was not having any BS. But it was just sort of like, oh my god. You people are so fucking embarrassing. Damn it! Oh, You're offended at the mention of shame boxes? It's more like a shame cube. Okay, 700. Let's upgrade the Barbarian. I like Barbarians. We're not a Barbarian, are we? Mage. Okay. Why do I still have Charon's Obol? What does it do? Oh, right. Right, that's the one time that you can... Uh, you can carry over money. Well. Speaking of Indiana Jones, 
Uh, is Harrison Ford okay? Hey, fuck! Y'all heard that he crashed his plane, right? Oh. I wasted that obol so hard. Oh, I want the shinobi. Last you heard he's in stable condition. That's encouraging. Does he still have photography to do for episode seven? Of course he walked away from it. He's Han Solo, 72 years old. He's like, damn, I crashed my plane. What a fucking drag. Maybe he'll have a sweet scar for it. But for serious, I hope that guy's okay. Hooray, Gwald! Listen here, you. Dang, now I gotta buy another plane. I feel as though he may not be doing any aviation for a little while. Gonna DPS the fuck out of you. Chicken! Chicken! That was weird. Oh wow, that sucked. There we go. I don't know what that is. What? What's a hedgehog's curse? Precious? Wait a minute, I have a terrible premonition about what that could be. Ah, oh, bullshit. I think I have an idea about what it might be. No, oh, fuck! Oops. 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 We're dead. Hey! Fuck me! Yep, we're dead. Let's see if we can get. Oh. Well, we still have our money. More damage. Always more damage. I have played Risk of Rain. It seems really cool, and I'm so bad at it. My vampirism sword. Son of a bitch! I mean, like, it was, it was, it's a good game. And I mean, I guess, like, really early on, I had a really hard time killing enemies. They just seemed like damage sponges, which was kind of annoying. I guess you get more damage later. Alright, let's make this our last one. Let's make it count. Barbarian Queen. Fan fucking tastic. The black and white barbarian queen. Alright, let's do it. Oh, the talk two should be up on from today.
Can't see shit, Captain. Stereo blindness and black and white. Luckily, I do shit tons of damage. And I have vampirism. Vampirism is such a good ability this early. Well, there's the boss room. Fuck you, Zambor. Fuck your eyeballs. Fuck you right in the eyes. Boner. There we go. Shittles. Giga fried shittles. Well, we'd be making this one count, I think. That's not gonna count much longer. Fuck me! Damn it. No! That's it. We're done. But we got a bunch of money. We'll pick our successor. 710. <sighs> Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all gender identities, welcome back to the end of IDD Cooter for the second time this week. Um... I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think you'll probably see us again on Saturday for Crossing the Streams. I don't know what we're going to do, but it should be interesting. So, in the meantime, enjoy yourself. I will enjoy myself, maybe, but I'll see you later.